Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep. Yeah, okay. It's all. It's all good. We're here. We're gonna look at the next big thing that we're gonna be doing for a video. Yes, I'm in the world that I toured. I haven't. I'm adding two new battleships right now. But behind us, we have the new edition of the Carnival Liberty. It's the next thing that I'm gonna be working on. Been working on it for like weeks now, but this is the next thing we'll have a tutorial for. A full tutorial on that like last time. Now all that's left to do is the uh, funnel, the uh, deck details, and uh, a few chairs and stuff like that. The stern, the deck markings, stuff like that. This is the reason that I didn't finish that other one that I started. The only one that had like five it was because I had this in the process of building. I also have to add the pool, but I didn't want to do that yet. I handcrafted each one of these balconies, that's why it took so long. But let's go out here and look at this real quick so y'all can get a little look at that. So in this texture pack, it's uh, Jag's texture pack. He has custom doors, so I could just walk in here with those. Of course, there's a bathroom, which I forgot to put a torch in. <clears throat> which, obviously, in this text pack, the torch is turned into that. Which looks pretty cool for in here. But obviously, we have a shower here. Duh. <laughs> we have a pretty cool design that I came up with right here. I'm not sure if it's any good, but I came up with it. We have a TV. This is a custom painting, as you can see. This is also a custom painting, the USS Missouri. This one is to the USS New York. <clears throat> we have a load of chests everywhere. Then we have these custom glass doors that look like door handles. We have chairs outside and chairs just sitting here. But that's how each one of the balconies looks. Now let's go down here to the lifeboats. These I also handcrafted myself. Each of them have their own little entrance like this onto them. This is also something else I have to do is put in the seats, which I'm not going to do yet. But I will eventually. Above us, this is where... I don't know what's up here. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. That is to the, uh, the rooms. <laughs> Where I had to place, where I couldn't place carpets, I put the same color underneath the wool. But let's run down here. Let's hop out here. Let's just take a real quick good look at this. Y'all could see if you want to see it or not. This is a brand new design that I came up with. As you can see, we have a lot of different textures, uh, a lot of different paintings. I just never able to find one that fit this, though. Let's see. Seems like this one just is the favorite out of any of them. Yep, yeah, that's better than the center. Okay. <laughs> wow. A flower and a fighter jet. Okay. But let's just get over here to the side. This is a brand new design right here. Most of the time it looked like this. But I switched it to a chair. Not a chair. <laughs> I'm stupid. I switched it to the stairs at the bottom and top. It looks pretty cool. We also have these. Those are the same on the other side, obviously. I also made the front of this area. I don't know if it looks too good, but it looks okay. I made this section too wide, too open instead of one, like it was last time. I think it looks better with two. I have this piece, which is really small. I may add more to it. We have this, which leads down to the pool area. 
Yes, there's supposed to be another pool here with the, with the slide. <sighs> but I never could find room for it, and I didn't want to extend it because I have other stuff to go behind it. So it's just like, eh, we'll just skip that part. So we're not going to have that. But we have a ton of room in here. <clears throat> this room is made out of entirely glass, too, which looks pretty cool. It's the first time I've ever done anything that has a slant like this, where it goes back in and back out, over and over, back in, back out. It adds a lot of depth to the ship. That's the Titanic, that's the Yamato, yep, okay. But if you want to see something for this tutorial, just or just a final showcase, then just comment down below what you want and I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll just have one more fly around and then we'll end it. Because I need to get to sleep. It's been really late. <laughs> this is the Carnival Liberty. It's just another version of it. It's not probably realistically right, but. It's as good as I'm going to get it, not me. This may fix later. It's kind of sh too straight, but. Oh well, I'll fix it later. Doesn't matter. Each of these are the same. We'll just fly through this side though, because we already know what it looks like, but why the heck not? Also did that add the uh, carnival symbol right there. I also added these as extra space holders. But that's pretty much the Carnival Liberty all finished. All that's left is detailing. I'll have a video once I'm done with it completely. But I should probably uh, get going before I run out of time. So uh, thank you for watching this short, just little showcase video type thing. We'll see you next time.